Good morning one and all and welcome to the video. This video I'm going to be writing or rather showing you a python code that can delete objects from AWS S3 in batches and in bulk. We will be use, utilizing the concept of threading here. So I have the entire code. I will be walking you over the code and let's get started with the video. All right. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse my screen. I have a couple of classes, but the most important class that we need to worry about is AWS S3 over here. It's a very generalized class that has various methods such as um, put files, get item length. So it can give you uh, the size of an object right in kilobytes, gigabytes, uh, checks whether an item exists, get item, find one update, delete object. Um, delete object essentially uses Boto3 uh, delete object, right? So that's the method. Get all keys. Uh, this is the method that we are interested here because we will be utilizing this method to delete these objects. So over here, we say are using a uh, paginator API. So we are saying get paginator list objects v2. This is the one that we are using. Pages is equal to paginator dot paginator. Uh, so we are saying paginator dot paginate. We are providing the bucket name and the prefix, which means which uh, which folder do you want to go in that bucket, right? So after you're done with that, what this does for page for page number, page in enumerate pages, right? So for each pages, uh, by the way, sometimes it, it is quite possible that the S3 bucket might have more than 100 pages, right? Which is why I have a max limit. So if the page number is greater than max limit, kindly break it. If not, uh, go over that and append the keys to an array called temp and at the end return the temp object. So this particular function uh, the, the, or this particular method, it takes a prefix, uh, right? Prefix means which folder you want to go. It's optional. If you don't provide, it's going to go over the, um, the root directory of your bucket and it's going to give you all the list of keys, right? Now, how did we implement the pagination, paginator? So we wanted to implement this con concept here, right? yellow and, and red. So yellow means uh, one page has say 10 keys. The second page also has 10 keys. You want to process both the pages together in a batch. This is called a batch size. You can increase the batch size as one, two, three, one. Uh, so so th that's what we're trying to do, right? So, so th that's just a, a visual representation of what we're trying to do. Over here, I create an instance of a class AWS S3 providing the access key, secret key, uh, and, 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 and that, and the bucket name. After that, I says helper QA, get all keys. I provide in whatever your prefix is, right? In this case, I'm just gonna provide XXXX. This is the uh, placeholder here. Max page number, uh, if you don't provide, it's defaulted to, uh, what you say, defaulted to 500, right? So we're saying that maximum I wanna go to 100 pages. Threading the thread, target is equal to delete objects, arg is equal to key. So we are creating a thread object. Remember, we are not starting the thread. For each keys, we are calling the delete object uh, and we are creating a thread object and we are creating an array. This is essentially performing list comprehension, right? Uh, you could do this on multiple line, but uh, it's easier rather to do everything on, on one line, right? So I have done that and I have named this called as main threads. Now, um, as you can see, length of keys. So I'm printing in how many total items do I have to delete, right? Then I said for thread in TQDM, TQDM is a library that allows you to essentially visualize a nice iterator on the bottom section. So I'm saying for zero to length of the main thread. So let's say there are thousand items from zero to thousand and in the batch sizes. So let's say the batch size is 10, right? So I want to delete 10 items in, in, in parallel, right? In concurrent, right? So uh, main thread, we start all the threads, then we wait for the first 10 thread to complete, then the next 10, 10 threads starts, then the next 10 threads will complete and, and so on. So this is how you can delete objects from AWS S3 essentially in batches. You can utilize the module threading to, to perform um, this, right? So thread, threading allows you to essentially have all these uh, methods uh, you want to execute in concurrent, right? So, and you can provide the batch size on how much, how many, uh, how many you want to delete. So you can play with these numbers. Uh, you can essentially, uh, there's a date time. I'm also printing the execution time. So this will give you a nice, uh, you can plot things in an Excel and see, oh, for which batch is working the best. So you can find more no optimum numbers, right? But this is how you want to delete objects in batch from AWS S3. Thank you for watching. Code is in the description section below. With that being said, thank you. So thank you once again for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. I would see you guys in the upcoming next tutorial. Thank you.